Hello guys, um, I decided to take a little break from my usual um, postings that I've been doing to show you something I've been working on, well, I designed uh, over the summer. Hang on, I'm gonna turn down the music. As peaceful as it is, it can kind of get in the way. So yeah, um, this can be done strictly vanilla, although it will be a pain in the ass to do. What you need is uh, two levers if you want to kill switch at the end. Six redstone torches, or at least that's what I have because there's two different... Um, I'm not sure what you'd call the redstone switch area. Um, a clock, mass redstone, mass of stone, or whatever you want to make the core of it out of. Fuck ton of sticky pistons, fuck ton of repeaters, and I threw in some glowstone just for style because, well, having that level of light will keep mobs from spawning around it. This will come in handy for uh, dungeons and things like that. So, yeah, crusher tunnel. Just warning you now, it gets loud. So, I have the activation switch here. Come on. Yeah. This is gonna kinda hurt a little bit, so here we go. So yeah, um, obviously, um, if you want to have a tunnel this long, you're going to need to really um, delay the repeaters. I'm not sure why someone would need to make a tunnel this long, but, you know, I went ahead and did it this long to just kind of show. Although, obviously, my frame rate dropped quite a bit while running through that. Uh, so let's see here. Rats. <laughs> so around this side, um, you can see how it kind of works. Here's the little clock that runs the whole thing. This line here is the kill switch. Um, essentially, it will be off when you're wanting it to run. Here's one of the switches here. I don't really know enough to know what the name of it is, but yeah. If you know what it looks like, what it is, well, yeah. And here's the other switch, so I've got the clock running into this switch here, and the activation switch coming into this to activate here. Both of them go through this second switch, which features um, the inclusion of the kill switch. Then it wraps around down, um, well, down through there. And then it, here it branches off to go on either side. And up until I guess about here is what I would consider to be the starting phase. Because um, that's where the ignition is once you get to, uh, say, about this block here and this one. Uh, you can pretty much copy and paste that in MC Edit, make it as long as you want. And I figure I'll go ahead and show you all a little bit of a cutout just so you all can see what it is that you'd be copying for as long as you want the tunnel to be. Yeah, I made that a little long for that timing. So yeah, you got one set of sticky pistons pushing up and down at the same time, 
and followed by ones pushing to the sides. You could theoretically um, make it just up, down, or side to side, theoretically, but that would take quite a bit to wire to have it alternate properly and still have the timing. So I figured it'd be easier to just alternate it. Glowstone, like I said, to keep mobs from spawning around it. Don't have to worry about them spawning inside it, obviously they'll die. And these ones here are what you would set to uh, make it fast or slow. Short ones, um, if you're going only like a couple spaces in, I'd suggest maybe two ticks. For a long one like this, I probably should have done four, but I have it as three. And out there at the end there, you have uh, the kill switch coming down and going into the copy-paste. So, yeah. If y'all request, I could probably post a schematic, depending on who all that watches this channel is going to play Minecraft, or do anything that requires this sort of construct. But hey, I figured I haven't seen anything like this around, so I'd share my little creation from when I was going to attempt engineering. There's treasure nearby. Anyway, I shall see y'all later.